The highlight of my time here was really meeting Neil deGrasse, seeing his talk and I'm just being in the same space as him because he's one of my heroes. Looking around the campus was really amazing too because I'm hoping to come down here next year and so getting a, a vibe from it was really cool. Probably study astronomy and then maybe a few other, but astronomy is really my passion. My piece of work was called an astronomical power pole. On holiday in Oakuni up north, I'm really into astrophotography, so um, went out one night and just drove five minutes out of the city. It was the most incredible night sky I had ever seen. Billions and billions of stars. Got my camera clicking, and so that's looking towards the center of our galaxy, and you can see all um, nebulas and interstellar clouds of gas and dust. Neil deGrasse Tyson, my favorite person. The way he communicates science, it really differs from people like Bill Nye, who say, you should believe this because this happens. So for example, don't believe in God because it isn't real, whereas Neil just outlines the facts and leaves people to make up their own opinions and I think that's a really strong way to communicate science. Yeah, well I'm really kind of um, interested in sort of, I guess, environmental science because I feel that's going to be a huge problem for the world with climate change and addressing the problem and um, yeah, promoting ways that we can reduce like carbon emissions and that sort of thing. When you look at Earth from space and you see how fragile it looks and how alone we are, it really promotes the idea that we need to address these environmental issues because, um, yeah, it's the only home we've got and right now we're not doing a very good job of looking after it. So I feel if more people were into astronomy and saw what, how fragile Earth is and how tiny we are, I feel it would really be an eye-opener for people to say, wow, yeah, I need to start doing my bit. Mm -hmm.